Hi everyone, welcome back to Cultural Eats with Olivia. My name is Olivia and today I'm excited to share with you guys this fun and easy fall recipe. We're going to be making spaghetti squash with Cajun shrimp and we're going to toss that in Alfredo sauce and fresh vegetables. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by preparing our spaghetti squash. I have already washed and dried up the squash. I'm using a medium sized squash and this should yield about four to five servings. So to start, you just wanna cut off the ends of your squash. Okay, now that the sides are cut off, we're gonna go straight down the middle. Okay, so our squash is now cut in half. You can brush away any seeds that are sticking out, but don't worry about it. We're gonna remove it once it's done baking. Once you have it at this state, you can place it onto a prepared pan. I'm using a pan that I've just sprayed down with cooking spray, but you can also place it onto a pan that is lined with oil. Either one will work fine. And we're gonna put this into our preheated oven at 375 degrees. Okay, so I've now transferred the squash onto a pan and I'm gonna start by drizzling it with some olive oil. And I'm just going to rub the olive oil in and make sure that it gets on all parts of the squash. And then we're going to season our squash with some crushed up peppercorn. We're also going to season this at the end. And I'm adding pink Himalayan salt to it. You can use any salt you have. And finally, we're gonna put on some onion powder as well as some garlic powder. And then we're gonna place this in the oven for one hour. Our squash is now in the oven. And while that cooks, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our shrimp. So I have cleaned and deveined shrimp right here. A lot of people feel like seafood is not a budget-friendly option, and my advice for you is to learn how to clean your own shrimp and seafood. So then you can go and buy it and clean it at home by yourself, and this will save you some money in the long run. So let's go ahead and head over to the stove and season our shrimp. We're also going to be adding in some fresh veggies into this dish. We're going to be using cherry tomatoes and baby greens. You can use any type of greens that you have on hand. Spinach works really well in this dish. And what we're going to do is we're just going to chop our tomatoes in half and roughly chop up the greens. We're also going to be adding in some fresh veggies into this dish. We're going to be using cherry tomatoes and baby greens. You can use any type of greens that you have on hand. Spinach works really well in this dish. And what we're going to do is we're just going to chop our tomatoes in half and roughly chop up the greens. I have my pan here on medium high heat and I added two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of garlic and let that toast. I then went ahead and added our prepared shrimp. I gave that a second to warm through and then I seasoned our shrimp. I seasoned the shrimp today with Tony's smoked paprika, salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder and Italian seasoning. And then I mixed that all up and made sure that all the seasonings were well combined with the shrimp. After our shrimp was completely seasoned, I added a little bit more olive oil to the pan. And then I added in our chopped up greens and cherry tomatoes and you just wanna completely combine this with the shrimp, and then you're gonna leave it alone for about five minutes so that your greens have time to sweat. Once the vegetables have sweat down, you can then go ahead and add your Alfredo sauce. Today, I use canned sauce for a quick and cheap meal, but if you have the time and resources, please make your own Alfredo. You then just wanna combine our Cajun sauce into the Alfredo sauce. This is honestly one of my favorite parts. I think it looks beautiful, the little swirls of the two sauces becoming one. You then want to go ahead and just let this simmer for 5 to 10 minutes or until it begins to boil. This is what your sauce should look like after the Alfredo and Cajun sauce have fully combined and all of your vegetables have sweat down. Okay, one hour later and our spaghetti squash is out the oven. It has a nice char on it and it's piping hot. So what you want to do at this point is give your squash a second to cool and then you're going to go ahead and start to make your spaghetti noodles. And to make your noodles, you're just going to take your fork and you're going to run it across the squash. 
So you're going to start by taking your fork and pulling it from the top of your squash to the middle. And this first layer is to remove the seed. So you're going to take that first layer and just discard it to the side. Do you get a this is what your squash should look like after you have completely removed it from its shell. As you can see, it mimics noodles. You then just want to place your spaghetti squash into the alfredo that we made with the shrimp. And then you're going to combine the spaghetti squash with the sauce. You want to be really careful when you do this. Just gently fold the sauce over the spaghetti. The squash is very sensitive. So if you go and you mix it too hard, you end up breaking all of your little spaghetti pieces. So just be gentle. Once you have it fully combined, this is what it should look like. The dish is now done. At this point, you can add any more seasonings that you feel necessary or cheese and serve. Thank you guys for cooking with me today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you choose to make it in your own home, please tag me and let me know how you made the dish your own. I look forward to cooking again with you soon.